Hi! In this video, I'm going to show how to solve a system of equations with substitution, and I'm going to do an example where none of the coefficients are 1. Okay, so here we're asked to solve a system of equations with substitution. We have 2x plus 3y equals 7, and 4x plus 9y equals 11. So we want to isolate one of the variables in one of the equations, and then substitute it into the other. One thing we notice if we look at these equations, um, to figure out which variable to isolate, the first choice is if you've got one that has a coefficient of 1, and we don't here. We have 2x and 3y and 4x and 9y. So we don't have that little shortcut. Uh, that's fine. We can still uh, isolate the equation, but it's good to look for that little shortcut because it'll save you time and effort if you do have it. Okay, so this would be equation 1, this would be equation 2. So first of all, we have to write down what we're going to do. We're going to isolate one of the variables in one of the equations. So isolate... Um, all of these would be reasonable choices. If I isolated, say I isolated y in equation 2, I'm going to have to divide everything by 9, and I'd have 11 ninths, and I'd have 4 ninth x, um, which is fine, but it's a bit messy. If it would be a bit nicer if I over here if I isolated x in equation 1, then I'll just have 3 over 2, which is just 1 and a half y, and 7 over 2, which is just 3 and a half. So that's kind of just, it'll make my numbers a little bit nicer. So that's what I'll do. I'll isolate x in equation 1. So equation 1 was 2x plus 3y equals 7. So I'll subtract 3y from both sides. So I have 2x equals 7 minus 3y. And then I'll divide both sides by 2. So you can write that you're dividing the whole right side by 2, um, but people seem to find it a little bit easier if you divide each term separately. It's the same thing. It means the same thing. But this makes it more obvious what to write next. So here we have x equals... 7 divided by 2 is 3 and a half. I'm going to write 3.5, but you could leave it as 7 over 2 if you want. And minus 3 over 2 is 1.5. And same thing, you can leave it as 3 over 2 if you want. So we've got x isolated. Because this is essentially just a rearrangement of equation 1, I'll call that 1 prime. Now I want to substitute. I'm going to substitute 1 prime, and I have to substitute it into the other equation, so into 2. So equation 2 is 4x plus 9y equals 11. And so equation 1 prime tells me that x equals 3.5 minus 1.5y. So it's 4 times that, 3.5 minus 1.5y, plus 9y equals 11. There we go. That's the key idea right there. Because now I've got this equation with only x's in it. So we'll just kind of simplify it carefully here. Uh, th 4 times 3.5 is 14. 4 times negative 1.5 is negative 6. So that'll be minus 6y plus 9y equals 11. So here I'll have 14. And then minus 6y plus 9y is 3y. And then on this same line I'll subtract 14 from both sides. So I get 3y equals negative 3, and then I'll divide by 3 to get y equals negative 1. Perfect. So this is important, we're going to use it, and it's a combination of equation 1 and equation 2, so I'll call it 3. So now we'll take that equation 3, substitute 3 
into, and it could be either one. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll choose two, it doesn't really matter. So equation two was 4x plus 9y equals 11. So when I substitute, I get 4x plus 9 times negative 1 equals 11. So that's 4x minus 9. And then on that same line, I'll add 9 to both sides. So 4x is 20. And then divide by 4. You get x equals 5. There we go. So the solution is that x, y equals 5, negative 1. Now, of course, like always, we've got to check that. We finished the, equation, the question, so we just have to check. So I'm checking equation 1, the left side is equal to 2x plus 3y, so that's 2 times 5, plus 3 times, and the y is negative 1, so that's 10 minus 3 is 7. And then the right side of the equation, which is everything on the right of the equals, is 7. And that's the same. So left side equals right side. So that means that 5, negative 1 is a solution to the first equation. And for it to be a solution to the system, it has to be a solution to both equations. So we'll check the other one too. Equation 2. The left side is 4x plus 9y. Which is 4 times 5 plus 9 times negative 1. So that's 20 minus 9 is 11. The right side is also 11. So that's perfect. Left side equals right side. Okay, so here's what we did. We wanted to solve this system with substitution. So we isolated one of the variables in one of the equations. We looked for one that had a coefficient of 1, but we didn't have one. So we tried to pick the kind of the nicest number for coefficient. So that was the 2. We isolated x in the first equation. We called this version with the isolated x 1 prime, because it was basically equation 1. We substituted that into number 2. Um, so we replaced the x with 3.5 minus 1.5x. We simplified, simplified, isolated y, and we got y equals negative 1. And then we took that equation and we substituted it into one of the first two. It doesn't matter which one, we chose 2. And then we came up with x equals 5. So that's the end of solving the system. We wrote down the answer. And then we just did a check, with left side, right side check, to make sure that that was the right answer. Okay, good luck with that.